Thank you, Mr. President. As a mayor and uh, as a representative of the local, municipal and regional authorities, I like to strongly support some of the proposals from the citizens uh, panel in the field of education. Why? Because uh, in the end, all education goes local. This conference is about the future of Europe, a democratic future of Europe. Unfortunately, we are in front of a new Iron Curtain on the east side of our continent. We cannot have a long-lasting democratic future in Europe without a real access to education and quality investments in education. Education is the best form of investment because there is no risk of bankruptcy. Education is the solution to ignorance, intolerance, racism, violence, disinformation or fake news. I do support so much the citizen proposal about soft skills and critical thinking in schools in order to fight against discrimination and fake news. I really appreciate the citizens' reference to the brain drain phenomenon. If left unaddressed, brain drain can affect our European project on long-term perspective. I want to be very clear. Freedom of movement is a basic and a fundamental right in our Europe. But, in the same time, no one should be forced to leave his own city, region or country due to economic reasons. Investments, education, cohesion policy and a good quality of life provided by local and regional authorities can turn the brain drain to brain drain through brain circulation. So, dear colleagues, in this very moment we have a Europe more united than ever before. A Europe united in diversity and a Europe with one voice in defending democracy and its values. Mr. Putin must know that our values are not negotiable. Our values are not for sale, neither for money nor for gas or oil. As long as we work together here in Strasbourg, in Brussels and all over Europe, we have a democratic future. There is no place for authoritarianism or dictatorship in our Europe. Mr. President, you said once uh, uh, something like that. Once Europeans fought, now they talk, work and live together. That's our European story. You are right, Mr. President. Let's write the best chapter of our European history. Thank you.